exhaust coming off. Let's just go from there. Okay, battery died, but I got all the exhaust off of the bike. Um, gaskets are off, everything's off. Um, so what we're gonna do now is I already took one of these off. We're gonna pop these push rod covers off. Pretty straightforward. Let me give you a quick demonstration. This is actually what it looks like when it's off. It's actually a couple different pieces. This is how it goes. And there's that slot right there. So what you're going to do, take this flathead, pry it into this slot right here, without bending it. And you're going to push down away from the top, and then pry away from the engine. And then this whole thing just pops up, pops out. So now we're gonna do the rest of them. Now there are O-rings, obviously, in each one of these. I'm gonna separate them from front and rear, but these are gonna get replaced anyway. So any, any O-ring, any gasket, I'm going to replace on this bike. Anything that I take off is going to get replaced anyway. Okay, now we're going to do the lifter covers, hydraulic lifter covers. This is just four um, Allen, Allen bits. Let me see what size they are. What is this one? 3 16th Allen. Let me get my ratchet. Pop these fuckers off. Alright. Got the hydraulic lifter covers and gasket off. Uh, it was just these four bolts here. And then this was kind of, this one's still stuck. But this one was not nearly as bad. I kind of just hit it with a dead blow and it came off. Now what you're going to do here is this is an anti-roll pin for the lifters. This will just slide out. So I can do this without losing it. That just slides out and then you can just pull the lifters out. Now the lifters are engorged in oil. As you can see all of it spilling out. So you may want to wrap these in a paper towel or something. There we go. That's why I use a dead blow. Didn't do any damage to it. I mean, just getting it off. And then of course, the gasket, obviously not reusable. Through the trash. Now again with these hydraulic lifters, I'm not too worried about keeping them in order or anything like that. I'm replacing them with the Fueling HP Plus lifters, uh, which was recommended by Fueling. Um, just because the cam I got is a little aggressive and it's just recommended that you upgrade your lifters and push rods. This engine being an 05, it has the better uh, valve springs in it, so those didn't need upgraded. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to take out this anti-roll pin on both sides, take out both lifters, wrap them in a paper towel because they are, like I said, engorged in oil, and then I'm just going to set them over there with the rest of the stuff. <laughs> lifters are out. This leaves the whole top of this cam chest exposed. As you know, anything, any foreign objects getting into moving parts like that's no good. So I'm going to take some masking tape, cover these up, 
I am going to be digging into the cam chest whenever all this gets back from machining for the cams, the cam install, the new lifters and all that crap. Um, but for now it's going to stay closed. And then we're going to start taking down the bottom of the rocker box off of the head. And then once that's off, the head's coming off. And then once the head's off, the jug is coming off. And then hopefully the pistons will come out, stock pistons. As you can see, so no shit can get down in there. I'm going to adjust this camera a little bit so we can see up here on the top of the rocker boxes. All six bolts are off. That took a little while because you're supposed to do equal turns on each bolt. You're not supposed to take one out and then take the other out and take the other out. It's supposed to go in order. One, two, three, four, five, six. A little bit at a time for each bolt. I'm not trying to warp any heads or anything, so I'm trying to do it by the book. And now it says, hit this with a rubber mallet. I have a rubber mallet. Rubber mallet for the win. Now basically, this is the front of the bike. The order went one, two, no, sorry. One, two, three, four, five, six. So it was half turn, full turn, half turn, half turn, half turn, half turn, half turn, all the way around. And then, the gasket on the bottom here is going to get replaced. Man, that fucker is on there though. And the one on the back cylinder was leaking really bad. So I might as well do them both. And then this, with the bolt still in place, is going to go oriented the same way as everything else on the table. And some of those bolts on that bottom rocker up against the bottom part of the top part of the frame were a little tight so I had to get the old 90 degree Allen in there took a little while but as soon as I got it you know above flush I took a 7 16 ratcheting wrench and just hit it got it out this back one's going to take longer because the way the frame slopes more of the bolts are closer to the frame, a little bit less clearance, so it's going to be a lot more of this. It's going to take a little while. Um, yeah, like I said, that one was a little bit harder because the way the frame slopes down towards the rear. Um, I ended up using a T-handle 3 16 for a couple of them, but for the most part, just a ratchet and a 7 16 um, you know, just a normal regular socket will do. And once you get everything with enough space, a ratcheting wrench, got them off quickly. Just going to whack it with this hammer and get it out of there. Same gasket, just gonna tear it off. Fuck, maybe. Bottom one, trash. Good to go. Same as the other shit, going straight over on the pile, in order. Oh, yeah. All right, so that was part two uh, of three for the engine teardown. The next video is going to strictly be heads, jugs, and pistons. Um, Shouldn't be too long of a video. It was pretty straightforward. I mean, really, the heads just take a few bolts in and come out.
As far as this video goes, um, like I said, I'm replacing a lot of that stuff, so I didn't really follow the um, manual recommendations as far as labeling and and uh, orientating the way it goes in the engine the way it was. So that's something to consider if you're going to replace the stuff or not. But everything's been pretty straightforward so far and by the book, so there shouldn't be any... None of this is, is too hard to do, it's really not. It seems a little daunting, but it's, it's not bad so far at all. But as you can see behind me, I got something else going on right now. Um, give you a little, little teaser. There's my fender. Getting ready to paint. So, that video will be coming. Probably going to be one of the last ones. Because um, I have no idea what I'm doing. In the short of it. It's a lot of sanding right now. So, again, next video is coming to be the last part of the engine teardown. Uh, heads, jugs, pistons. And then I should be getting on to the cam chest teardown, which is a whole nother can of worms. So, as always, comments are appreciated. Uh, shares are even more appreciated. Get the word out. Get some more videos going.